Apple has been using the Think Different advertising slogan for decades now, even though you could argue that in recent years, they've been making much less innovation to their product lineup than their competitors have. And after getting dethroned from being the world's most valuable company by both Nvidia and their old rivals Microsoft, Apple has decided to turn back to the old faithful business strategy of copying the more successful companies. That's right, Apple has decided to join the rest of big tech in the AI gold rush cash grab by developing what they call Apple Intelligence, along with OpenAI. So this is the press release that Apple posted to their newsroom a couple of days ago. And the approach that Apple is taking here to advertise their AI is very interesting because they say that they're gonna be setting a new standard for privacy in AI. I kind of feel like that part here is a little retort to Microsoft's recall and the backlash that it's been receiving and a little bit of the privacy backlash that some other AI models have been receiving in general since they're literally scraping everything that people are doing on the internet. Um, but you know, recall is the most recent one that had just horrendous security and privacy implications if someone were to get unauthorized access to your PC because then they could very easily look through your recall history. Check out the video I made on that if you haven't already. Uh, but apparently Microsoft has made some security improvements to recall. Um, but of course, that didn't get as much press as being able to hack it with a pretty simple Python script. But yeah, promising better privacy is an angle that Apple typically takes whenever they're comparing themselves to their competition. And it actually does make sense because, well, their competition, mainly Microsoft and Google, are shameless in harvesting your data for targeted advertising. Like Microsoft has been putting ads in the lock screen and start menu for so long that there's probably people out there with like driver's licenses and who are even able to vote who have never even used a Windows that just didn't have ads in the start menu. And showing targeted ads in the start menu in the lock screen, that's not something that Apple would do, right? Oh yeah, that's right. iPhones actually have had ads in the lock screen for about two years now and it's something that you have to opt out of. Remember, think different means copy the competition. And another similarity with Microsoft and Apple's AI is that it's still only going to be available on their latest and greatest devices. Uh, so Apple AI is supposed to become available in iOS 18. I think the preview for that just released today. Um, but the AI features are only gonna be on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max and the M1 or newer iPads and Macs. I'd be interested in testing the AI out in a virtual environment or possibly hack it onto an older ARM system if that's possible. But you know, with Apple's more locked down nature, I really have a feeling that that's gonna be much harder to do. Uh, I can't help but think that honestly, Apple's AI move here is really a marketing strategy for them to try to sell more iPhones, mainly the newer iPhones, because the sales of the iPhone 15 have dropped 10% this year compared to last year, and iPhone sales account for the largest portion of Apple's revenue. Regulations from government bodies like the EU have also forced Apple to open up the walled garden more and more, like they forced iPhones to become easier for the end user to service, which is probably gonna result in fewer phone sales once the user replaceable battery regulation kicks in in 2027. Apple was also forced to use USB-C chargers or charging ports just like Androids and to allow users to install apps from alternate app stores like you can on Androids. And Apple caved to pressure from Google and Samsung to support RCS in iMessage, which is going to make cross-platform texting more compatible. So there's actually less of a push in a way to be forced into the Apple ecosystem year after year or you know however often you end up upgrading your phone. Uh, so it seems like the next frontier to try to keep people in the walled garden or get them into the walled garden is 
obviously AI. And this is actually an area where I think Apple could beat out the current competition. The big reason being, Apple is using OpenAI's ChatGPT, which is one of the largest large language models, and because of the walled garden's past success with people using it for so long, Apple has significantly more data about the people that are using all of their devices than other companies do. Like if you're using iMessage, iCloud Mail, iCloud Storage, Apple Maps, and you're talking to Siri all day, Apple software is processing pretty much every major detail of your life. Apple knows who your mom is if you have her picture in your iPhone contacts, so Apple Images can make this awkward looking superhero from her. Apple Intelligence is scanning and storing information about all of your text messages, so you can use it to ask Siri to play you a song that a friend sent you several weeks ago. Or you can get your driver's license number from a picture that you took of your driver's license a couple of years ago. Apple has built one of the most seamless device ecosystems ever seen, and now that they're combining Siri with ChatGPT to analyze all of the data within that ecosystem, I wouldn't be surprised if Apple actually does end up having the best AI assistant for the next few years. Which just leaves the big question, are the privacy claims of Apple intelligence legit? Well, in typical Apple fashion, the source code behind the AI feature is proprietary because OpenAI is actually not that open. So there isn't any way to directly audit it yourself. I mean, they say that security experts can go and audit it, but that's obviously very different than what you would get with true open source software where you can audit the code yourself and fork it or have one of your programming buddies do that for you. Apple claims that privacy protections are in place for interacting with ChatGPT, such as obscuring your IP address, and OpenAI pinky promises that they won't store your requests. So you just get another trust me bro guarantee. Now, compared to the rest of the big tech AI competition, mainly Microsoft and Google, Apple intelligence probably will be more privacy respecting, at least at first, because that's the trend that we've already seen for years with Apple. iOS has less ads and tracking, at least by default, than Android does. Mac OS has less ads and tracking by default than Microsoft Windows. And Apple intelligence is supposed to be released as a opt-in feature, unlike so many other AI systems that we've seen where the features are opt-out. But again, saying that you make less spyware than Google and Microsoft is really setting a low bar for yourself. And you know, picking Apple's AI system because of that is also pretty sad. I mean, it'd be like picking one maximum security prison over another because they serve ice cream on Fridays. Personally, I think it's gonna be a while until we have FOSS alternatives to these more general AI systems uh, because of the sheer amount of compute power that it seems to take to run them. I mean, with the latest ARM chips, more of the computing is becoming local. That's what we're seeing with Apple's AI and also with Microsoft's AI on the Copilot Plus PCs, but it's still a cloud hybrid system. You still need to connect to their data farms that actually have the really powerful AI models running on them. Uh, but some of the more niche AI systems that I've been looking at that actually can run locally because they're just trained on like a niche subject instead of a more general uh, AI, they actually do seem to be much more useful to me than <laughs> these ones that Apple are making to create emojis that look like they're dying inside. But tell me your thoughts on Apple intelligence in the comments below. Like and share this video to hack the algorithm. Buy my merch from base.win and 10% discount when paying in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.